and welcome to the part number 38 of the note editor tutorial series. My name is Pavel Kroplav from blenderfeed.com and today in this part we are going to have a look how to create this awesome looking docking window here. We will put it into the window so we can toggle it on and off and also we will have a look on how to enable these items to be tracked from the list itself. So I hope you are excited and let's start coding. Now it's about the right time to make this our notes docking window here look cool and awesome. So first off we can drag it even off and we can close it. So if we close it we got no option how to get it back. It would be nice to have it here in the window. But first of all we do create the notes dock here in our calculator window and this is too ambiguous name so let's rename this. Instead of list widget, hit shift F6, rename, let's call that notes list widget. And instead of names, let's call this one notes doc. Like this. Perfect. We don't want to use the Q list widget here, but we will use our own class and we can create a new file for that. So let's create new file, call that calc underscore drag list box because we want to be able to drag the items from it and here we can define a new class which will be called qdm drag list box so let's go ahead to the calculator window instead of q list widget or first let, let us import that so from examples dot example calculator dot drag list box import qdm drag list box copy the name of the class which we wrote and let's go back here and instead of q list widget let's create qdm drag list box and we don't need these lines here anymore and here drag list box should be able or should derive from q list widget we don't know it yet, so we need to import that. So from PyQt5, Qt GUI, import everything. I will copy this around and I will also import everything from Qt Core and Qt Widgets. And as usual, in our class, we are going to define the constructors who define underscore underscore init, self and parent. By default, that's gonna be none. We will call the parent constructor with the parent and we are going to call self.initUI define the function and inside of this function we will got a bunch of initialization and then we can call something like self at my items and this function should be easy to read so self dot we can create a, another function called that at my item and here is going to be the label the first item is going to be input and we are going to use icons so i went ahead and created a bunch of them like in example you can see here it's just a transparent background and something with a white color is written here for example for the input there is in but anyways we can type icons slash in png and let's copy that around because the next one is going to be output then we are going to have add subtract multiply and divide and the same will go for the names so this is i guess divide here is mul sub add and out and to define our function at my item this one is going to take definitely the name then the icon which can by default this will be none and later we want to be able to drag the items from the list so we will put some data inside our elements and let's pass in for now operation code and by default that's gonna be zero if we don't set it up. 
here we are going to create an item so item equals to q list widget item and we will pass name and self and here we could this one could be even icon text parent and integer type i guess something like that then we can create an image so a pix map that's gonna be q pix map and we will use icon which we passed as a parameter here only if icon is not none otherwise we will pass just a dot then we can set the icon for this item so item dot set icon q icon and pass in the pix map so let's set up our item in the first place i guess uh, especially for the tracking we should also set something like a size hint so item dot set size hint q size 32 pixels wide and height and now we can set up the item itself so set flex and we will definitely say that its item is enabled item is definitely selectable and we can also say that the qt item is item is drag enabled perfect and we can set up data inside this element so we will say item dot set data qt user role and the first thing we are going to put inside is our actual pix map so the image the icon we are using here and then we can pass the operation code so item dot set data qt dot user role plus one and pass in the operation code like this also we should set up our list box so let's go here and say self set icon size and that's q size 32 by 32 also we do want to enable only single selection so self dot set selection mode it's gonna be q abstract item view dot single selection we do wanna enable the dragging so self dot set drag enabled And let's have a look in the calculator window when we run it. It looks like it's working. Perfect. I can drag it here, but I can drag it later. If I do file new, we should be able to put the add here. Perfect. Inside our calculator window, we can go to the window menu and it would be nice to have option or possibility to somehow enable or disable the docking window itself. So let's call that toolbar nodes. Is going to equal to self dot window menu dot add action and let's call that nodes toolbar. Perfect. Let's say toolbar nodes is going to be checkable so set checkable true so we can see a little tick there if it's okay or not or if it's visible or not another thing if we click it so triggered connect we do want to call a function and let's create the function will be named on window nodes toolbar perfect and let's also when we are updating the window menu let's set if it's checked or not so toolbar notes dot set checked and this is going to be checked only if 
self.notesdoc is visible. Perfect. Let's try to run that and it will crash because we didn't define a function yet. So define on Windows Notes toolbar, pass in self and this function will be called once we click the element inside of our window menu. So if self notes doc is visible, so currently it is visible and we clicked the menu item, we want to hide it. So self notes doc dot hide. Otherwise it wasn't visible and we want to show it. So self notes doc dot show. Let's try to run it again. We can add an error. Object has no attribute notes doc in the update windows menu and in the create menus. That means that at the top here we are trying to create action menus and everything else and the notes doc we are creating it after that so it doesn't exist yet. So let's cut it put it here above and it should fix our problem. So we cut the docking window. Here it's checked. We can uncheck it, which is perfect. And just for, just to look it a little bit better, let's copy the separator and add a separator here. Okay, and now we cut window. Here should be a bunch of the toolbars or docking windows we will be using and then is the rest of it. So perfect. These look cool. You can create your own icons as you wish. Or you can use these which I made. It doesn't matter. So let's have a look how pretty it is again. And it looks gorgeous. I guess that's gonna be everything for this part. I thank you for watching and see you at the next part.